नमस्ते माय डियर फ्रेंड्स रिकंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ राम टेंपल इन अयोध्या इज गोइंग ऑन एट ए वेरी फास्ट पेस द रिकंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द टेंपल ऑफ लॉर्ड राम इन अयोध्या इज गोइंग ऑन एट ए फास्ट पेस ऑन ऑगस्ट फाइव टू प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी laid the foundation stone for the construction of the ram temple and since then the construction work of the temple is going on last year on the occasion of dev deepavali prime minister narendra modi also visited the construction site and saw the pace of the construction work of the temple millions of ram bhakts across the world are eagerly waiting for the moment when they will be able to do darshan of grand ram lala temple at the ram janam bhumi in ayodhya the reconstruction work of grand ram temple is being done by the sri ram janam bhumi tirath setra trust which was set up by the government to construct sri ram temple in ayodhya a sri ram janam bhumi more than 70% of the construction has been wrapped up and the sanctum sanctorum of the temple is being built swiftly chairman of the trust nirpendra misra has said that the construction work will be completed in three stages and the first stage will be completed by the end of this year and after that the reconstructed temple will be open by the devotees and one can expect to see ram lalla in public in the temple the work to place beams above ground floor pillar jat sri ram janam bhumi mandir has started there will be a total of 392 pillars in the ram temple after taking the opinion of experts sagwan wood from ballarpur in chandarpur district of maharashtra has been chosen for making gates in Sri Ram Janam Bhumi Mandir there will be a total of 12 gates in the Ram temple according to the trust the main entrance of the temple will be Singh Singh Dwar beautiful statues are being carved on stone based on stories from our shastras they will be later pasted on pillars based and other designated places in Sri Ram Janam Bhumi Mandir as per the construction schedule there will be no effect of earthquakes on the temple union minister home minister amit shah had already announced that the ram temple will be opened by devotees by january 1 and there will be inauguration of ram lalla statue on january 22 2024 so construction of ram mandir in ayodhya is just like reconstruction of national consciousness ram and krishna and shiva are the great dream and sorrow of india to try to achieve consistency in their stories or to weave unfailing moral morality into their lives and remove all that looks like being false or improbable would be like trying to rob of everything except logic to the history of the indian spirit these three names are the truest and the greatest of the entire procession so far ahead of and looming so large over the others that these appear false and improbable their stories are indelibly engraved on the mind of the people the same as history is after all delibly recorded on stone or metal as the date of ram pran pratishtha date of pran pratishtha the consecration of sri ram lalla at ayodhya is coming closer the usual lot of vigna santoshi the people who derive pleasure from destructive things have started showing their true colors 
after opposing ram mandir in court through various gimmicks kapil sibal claims ram to be in his heart and the event is just a show of strength for bjp the samajwadi party that officially sided with the mosque for the sake of the vote bank and ordered firing on sri ram devotees is talking about the ceremony in the ayodhya as the program of lord sri ram while saying the bjp should not interfere congress as usual is in confused state of to be or not to be but satnarayana gangaram pitroda who reduced himself to sham pitroda is the mastermind of congress strategies and has deep connection with the anti bharat forces in the west he has questioned whether ram mandir is the real issue and advised to talk about employment inflation science technology and challenges we cannot expect much from the communist it was it was them who distorted the entire history questioned the birthplace of sri ram and instigated islamists to stand for babar and babri they are forced to recognize the importance of religion in our national life which is a significant defeat of their ideology shiv sena udav thakre's group is facing the most awkward situation the legacy of bala sahab thakre that proudly claimed the responsibility for pulling down the babri mosque is destroyed by his son with the secular sulking though people have given their reply to each of these hypocrites through party space in the moment it is necessary to retreat the right spirit behind the ram mandir construction to avoid further confusion reclamation of prabhu sri ram's birth place in ayodhya or for that matter even kansi and matra was never about individual faith babar or aurangzeb ordered the dis- destruction of these temples not just to hurt some individual religious feelings but to subjugate the very spirit of bharat as a nation similarly the continuous struggle which started immediately after the destruction and found new momentum after independence with the reconstruction of somnam temple has always been about regaining and reclaiming that national consciousness all sects of bharat kept fighting for the same and it was proved beyond doubt in the courts of law so the claims of instigators like oasis oasis that we prayed there for 500 years has no legal or historical standing the denial of historical wrongs by the invaders will not solve the present problem acceptance and correction would help all right thinking people should strive for the same Petroda's logic is not new. The assumption of self-proclaimed liberals that cultural resurgence and economic growth are antithetical to each other is fundamentally flawed. A wounded civilization cannot realize its potential. Bharat's economic progress has always been rooted in the cultural resurgence, the success story of of the kashi vishwanath corridor must be taught in business schools to understand how and why pilgrimage was the connecting and galvanizing factor for society and economy in bharat yes sri ram is everyone's and anyone's can seek his blessings the ceremony organized by the ram janam bhumi tirth shetra nyasa on january 22 2024 has specific protocol due to security and space considerations hence the limited invitations for that day crores of hindus who have waited for this historic day as devotees would be watching the ceremony in a nearby temple and celebrating sri ram's return to his birthplace the distra- distractors who tried their best to deny this just national cause should also join the celebration and seek forgiveness from prabhu sri ram for their sins it is undoubtedly a momentous occasion that would give us confidence about our civilization and ability to resurrect abidest all odds and pave the way for the goal of ram rajya 
Instead of getting into petty politics, they should realize the pulse of the masses and work as per Dr. Lohia's prayer, O oh India, Mother, give us the mind of Shiva, the heart of Krishna, and the world and deed of Ram. Create us with a non-dimensional mind and an exuberant heart but a life of limit. Millions and millions of Hindus all over the world are waiting incessantly for the moment when Ram Lala's statue will be placed in the Ram Temple. Sancto Sanctorum. Thank you for watching this video. Namaskar my dear friends. Thank you. Namaste.